Alrighty. Hi. My name is Giles. Uh, I own and operate Giles Palmer Photography. Um, I'm based and located in Prince George, Northern BC. And I'm terrified right now. I'm shaking. Um, it's after midnight and it is 2022. I almost said 2021 and this is going to be my first proper YouTube video this year and last year I started my business and I started shooting weddings uh, I did a little bit of aerial drone photography and videography for a local real estate agent which I loved doing um, and I needed a bit of an upgrade and so today uh, I'm going to be starting off my channel by introducing myself um, properly British born now Canadian, living in Prince George, BC. Uh, I've lived here in Prince George for almost eight years. I moved here in 2012. No, I've lived in Prince George for the last eight years and of those eight years, I have not been doing photography or videography consistently throughout that whole time. I moved to Canada back in 2013 with no real ambition in what I wanted to do. I ended up getting a job with a wonderful, wonderful company which I thoroughly recommend checking out if you're in the Whistler, Sea to Sky, Squamish area. Coast Mountain Photography, big shout out to you guys. You gave me the impetus to really start shooting and loving photography. I had never skied before, I had never photographed on skis or snowboards and you guys took a risk on me and I still uh, I absolutely love you for it. Also in Whistler on the main stroll is Photo Source. If you ever need a film developed, if you need to order camera equipment, they are experts in everything that they do cameras photography wise. They can even put your pictures on a mug, which I think is pretty cool. So big shout out to the guys at Photo Source, big shout out to the guys at Coast Mountain Photography. But for the last 10 years, I have been shooting an, on a Canon 5D Mark II, which is now on the shelf behind me and a Canon 7D as my backup camera. I have been editing all of that on my ancient 2012 MacBook Pro. I have put in uh, extra RAM, I've swapped the hard drive in twice, uh, it was covered in stickers and now it is relatively clean. It's got a few bashes, a few, it's an awesome machine. And you know what, I've been editing some photographs from the R5, the Canon R5 on this computer and it works. It, it's very slow, it buffers very slowly. Um, so I needed something that I could work a bit more at my speed. I've always said with Apple computers, the best thing about them is that they work as fast as you can think. Now, that hasn't been the case for my 2012 MacBook Pro for quite a while. Um, I'm still able to make amazing stuff on it and I have been making amazing stuff on it, but it was definitely time for an upgrade and I made a big investment in this computer here. We're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing of it right now. So before me, I have the Apple Pro Max, 64 gigabytes of RAM, four terabytes of storage space on it in the 16 inch model. And to say this is an upgrade is like saying if I had a smart car and I bought a Lamborghini, then I've slightly upgraded my vehicle. And then it's, that's not the case. This is literally going from a push bike to a sports car. It is gonna be um, next level. So first things first, I'm gonna remove this pull tab. They make these things so nice. All right, there it is. So the box around it doesn't seem to be damaged at all. A little bit of markup on the plastic here. There it is. 64 gigabytes of unified memory, four terabytes solid state disk, 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now this is the 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU, True Tone, three Thunderbolt ports, an HDMI port built in. Now the big selling point for me for this one was the SD card built into it. It's, yeah, it's awesome. It's like Going from my 2012 to this one is is a is a full upgrade, but I bypassed the, the touch bar that they put in. Well, they sent me the right one, so that's a good start. All right, so always make sure that you inspect the box to make sure that um, no corners are damaged. You don't want to get one of these computers and have a smashed screen. That would just be awful. Uh, I'm going to be cutting this open with my Leatherman. 
I always carry one of these things. Uh, it is by far my favorite tool that I carry. It has a, uh, a fire starter on it, it has a whistle, it has um, a saw blade, but the best thing about it is it just has a really handy dandy knife. Um, I've only ever cut myself once with it and that's when I bought it. Always put that away. Kid at Christmas. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, it is so small. It is so thin. I'll do some comparisons in a minute to the 15 inch. We have the accessories. It came with it. Nothing crazy. MagSafe again to USB C. Check that out in a minute. That's the main event. Goodness, I'm shaking. I'm just gonna mute that for a second. Let's do a very quick comparison. So this is the old one, 2012 MacBook Pro. Absolutely love this computer. This computer has been on location with me. It's come from England to Canada. Uh, it's had multiple battery charges. Uh, charges. Um, it's had multiple battery charges. I've replaced the MagSafe, I think, three times. Um, it's never gotten anything crazy in all the ports. Look at all those ports. That's just awesome. It has this disk drive, which I don't remember the last time I used. But let's just compare this. This is the, this is the 15, and this is the new 16. just there is almost no comparison I love the new darker color it's almost the same weight which is amazing this thing has four terabytes of memory on it. Four terabytes of memory on a MacBook is just amazing. And I can't wait to see what I can do on it. I, uh... so I reached out on TikTok recently. Um, I have, um, I'm starting my business from, from ground zero. I currently have no clients. Uh, I have no anything booked, actually. The pandemic has been a little hard for everyone and I'm not pushing too hard right now. I'm taking it a little easy. Um, currently on a six week paternity leave from my main job. 
I take photographs of cars at a local car dealership here in Prince George. Um, and what am I trying to say? Oh, that's right. I haven't actively sought out or approached too many businesses or I haven't put out any advertising specifically specific I haven't put out any advertising specifically saying that hey I'm a photographer I'm here I'm a videographer I'm here uh, I have a little bit last year and uh, I get some word of mouth referrals here and there but 2022 was and 2021 was supposed to be really big years for weddings and I think I shot between 9 and 11 weddings last year which is a decent amount um, all on my Canon 5D Mark II and going forward I'll be shooting all of this on my Canon R5 and the quality of my photographs and my video work is just exponential and I'm really looking forward to seeing now that I have this new computer looking forward to seeing what I can actually make with it um, one of the things I'm really interested in and I want to explore more on is VR um, videography and photography and how that can benefit businesses. Canon released a dual lens uh, camera lens that works on my camera and it records in, uh, in a VR system that allows you to put on one of those VR headsets like an Oculus or a there's, so, there's quite a few different ones right now. Oculus is the one that's on the top of my brain. It's something that I haven't focused on too heavily, but I think going forward with business, uh, I, I'm really interested in, in trying some of the, the, the VR stuff because I think going forwards in our world, we're gonna be looking more into VR um, workspaces, into VR content. And I think that that's a very important technology to really stay on top of and be all right, thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching and sticking it to the end for my first proper YouTube video filmed on a proper camera, not on my phone. My phone's great, but there is nothing quite like a proper video camera or a DSLR camera, which is what I'm filming on right now. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some personal stories. I'm gonna be doing talking about my equipment and my filming setup. And I'm also gonna be doing, um, just bringing you along on the journey for my business and seeing how things go. There's something happening on Thursday, which I can't tell you about, but maybe some things will come of it. All right, have a good one. And uh, until next time, see you later.